Okay, so today I've got this uh, Vizio. See a lot of Vizios for some reason. I actually call them Vizio. Uh oh, how many we see? This one happens to be a VL470M. M is in mic. And uh, here's it set on and running. As you can see, it's got a uh, white lower part of the screen and a blue bar across the top of the screen. It's kind of hard to see, but this corner right here is shaded. There's a shade here. There's a line that runs all the way across the front of the screen. This corner is shaded also. How do you determine what's wrong with this set? Where do you start? A lot of people would probably start by saying, well, the main board's bad. And uh, I want to talk about just some real simple troubleshooting steps you can use on this set as well as a lot of other LCD sets. I've had a lot, I had a run on LCD TVs with defective panels this week, defective LCD screens. And uh, a couple of them I've done where, where I put the uh, shims in to uh, add some tension to the ribbon uh, connectors to the tabs that are bonded between the LCD glass panel and the circuit board. Had pretty good success, but of course you can't warranty that. I just do it kind of as a courtesy to my customers so that uh, they'll have a TV to watch. It's not a long-term solution by any means but it does get them a TV to look at at least. So uh, let's look at the back of this one. Okay, the first thing you notice on the back of this TV is there is no timing controller board. So uh, the first thing, uh, if it's not the main board, people would say, let's replace the T-Con and uh, see what that does. But unfortunately on this one, there is no T-Con. It's actually on the main board on this TV. Part of the main board is the timing controller. So uh, they've kept the cost down by doing that putting the T-Con on the main board. Uh, this is a, um, let's see, who built this panel on this model? Uh, a lot of these are Philips LG panels. I believe this one is, although, let's see if we can look at the tag real close here, if it'll focus in on it. I, I don't even know if I can pronounce that. Shuzu Rakin Technology Company Limited. Uh, it looks like a Phillips because Phillips likes to use these uh, single or double inverter transformers just with one lead into the tube here and then the other one actually comes out and, and goes into the panel over here for the uh, backlight. I believe these are the cold cathode fluorescent tubes in this particular model. So uh, let's look at troubleshooting this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect one of these two ribbon cables that come from, well, what would be the timing controller board to the LCD panel. Fire the setup and let's see what happens. So the set's on now, so I'm going to shut it off. And I'm just going to see if I can do this while holding the camera. I'm just going to disconnect one of the two ribbon cables. Then I'm going to turn my power supply back on and I'll fire the TV up. So let's put the camera back out in front and see what we get. Okay, here we go with the power button. Sets on. A uh, little change. You can see uh, the top half of the picture on the side of disconnected is white now. You can still see the bar across the other side. So I'm going to uh, pause the camera. I'm going to switch sides. Okay, I've got side switch. So there's the power button again. Let's power this thing on and see what we get. Oh, much more success on the left hand side now. I uh, do see the uh, half Vizio logo come on. And I do see the no signal sign, so that tells me that there is definitely uh, a defect on the right-hand side of the panel that's actually loading uh, something down on the T-Con uh, part of the main board. I would have to say more than likely the main board is okay, uh, that it is an LCD panel problem. And I have seen similar symptoms to this in the past. So I did take it one step farther. I did pull the frame off or pull the panel out of the frame as you can see here and I just wanted to see if it might be a tab bond problem but I, I believe there's something that's uh, loading the data down to the LCD panel uh, I have had some where uh, like on my other videos you can add a little bit of uh, pressure a little tubing, a little weather stripping, a little foam rubber and uh, you can get the picture to pop back on I have had that on a couple of these sets so that's why I wanted to uh, do a quick look at it to find out is that the case but these 
all appear to be very solid, very rugged bonded tabs. I don't see any defects in them whatsoever. I checked the ones over here on the other side as well just to see if there was any any th relationship between the two sides. Could find none whatsoever. And just to make sure I went ahead and I pulled the uh, side frame off too so I could check the side tabs. I've had a couple bonding issues with those in the past where they weren't bonded correctly and could add a little bit of pressure to them. So uh, short of that, there's not really a heck of a lot more we can do with this one. We've determined it definitely is the LCD panel that is defective on this one. Uh, like I said, I've had a uh, run on bad LCD panels lately for some reason, and that's one reason I don't recommend LCD TVs or LED TVs. For those of you who don't know, the only difference between an LED TV and an LCD TV is the backlighting technology. LCD sets use fluorescent tubes as a backlight. LEDs simply use LED LEDs as the backlight. Uh, other than that, it's the same exact liquid crystal screen on both sets. There's really no change. Uh, one of the problems that I have on LCD sets is they're so fragile that it almost takes no force at all. You can see that the picture flashes. I tap the front of the panel. And a lot of times you can draw on the panel as well. Just with the force of your finger, you can make an imprint on the front of the LCD panel. I've had people... Uh, I mean, you can smash a plasma TV screen, but it, it's a little bit thicker glass. Uh, LCD panel screens are normally about one, one, to, one to one and a half millimeters thick. Plasma TV screens are somewhere on the order of two to four millimeters thick. Uh, so it takes a little bit more impact to smash a plasma TV. Anyhow, I thought I would just give you this really quick um, troubleshooting step to determine is it the main board, is it the LCD panel. You can also do the same step on a, a standard LCD that uses a T-Con or timing controller board. If it's one that has what I call the split panel where one half is independent of the other half of the panel. Uh, electrically there are connections between the two halves but I have had very good success disconnecting one of the two ribbon cables on one half or the other half. You can normally tell if it's going to be the T-Con or the panel uh, under those circumstances. And, and, and I'll tell you straight up, I've out, out of 100 sets with distorted video, I've probably seen maybe two that were actually the TCON board and the other 98 that were bad LCD panels. So um, just thought I'd give you that real quick tip on troubleshooting. Uh, once again, appreciate your, uh, your views, your comments. I try to answer as many as I can, but uh, I'm only one person and I uh, can't answer, of course, every single one. Keep watching. You can follow me on Twitter, NorCal715. Appreciate all your views and support. Everybody have a great day, and with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfills and out of the recycle bin, of course, unless, unless it has a bad LCD panel. We can't do anything about that. All right, have a great day.